welcome back to Nestled In. And if you're new here, I'm Jen and I live in Maine where we are always nestled in somehow. And so welcome, if you're new here, good to meet you. And today I just wanted to show you an unboxing and first thoughts on a curriculum that I just got in the mail to review. And I did not get paid for this. I ordered it myself and paid for it because I was very interested in it and haven't heard very much about it. So that's what um, we're gonna do today. This is a Winter's Promise and um, Winter Promise is uh, a curriculum where you, you buy a themed um, set on whatever you want to study and then you buy the language art set um, that usually dovetails quite well with what you have or it's worked into it and then you can also buy some other electives and whatnot but it comes with um, you can order the full set so you can order books along with it which is a pro right now because it's very hard at least in my area to get to the library and to get orders done and all of that since the libraries around here are still closed so um, we, I went ahead and ordered this because I struggled to get all my resources at the library. So here we go. I did open this. Why you opened it without us? Well, I had the help of a very feral toddler. So there we go. <laughs> so yes, I opened it and I have looked through it just a little bit, but not very much. I just wanted to see that I got everything in the box that it said and I, I, when I first got it, I got this in one day, and I got this one, the resources, the books, the next day, and then I got another book the next day after that, and there's still one that's actually in production. It's being either rewritten or it's brand new that is still yet to be sent to me. And so you can also buy this as PDF and ebook, um, so you can do that. You can get it mixed. Um, so you can have some things printed and then get um, some ebooks. So I chose the mixed set where I could get a, almost all the resources already done for me because I mentioned before it's really hard for me to um, spend all that time putting things together, although I probably will end up doing that, and, and then getting to the library. So here we go. Um, the first box that I got was this one with the um, core part of your program. This is called Deep into Habitats Page Pack for Older Learners. So this is one that we won't be using because it's meant for as an extension. So for your probably, uh, I would say, above fourth grade. So let's just open that real quick. It comes in these little things and beautiful colors. So that's nice so far. And so these are mostly notebooking pages it looks like and just extended for what um, you would be doing with the younger kids. Yes. This one says you're on the savanna, create a dried example of your grass that will also be a work of art. Oh. A piece of paper, a stalk of grass for your growing grass, two sheets of waxed paper and several books. So it shows you how to dry the grass and leave it. And there's probably some notes and whatnot there. So yeah, make, oh, that's cute, make a bird feeder out of a milk carton, a coffee can, or a produce basket. So those are extended activities called Deep into Habitats. So I'll put that aside. That is not what we're going to use. Next in the package is called Habitats, Hollows, and Homes Journal. This one is also the older journal, like a nature journal. So this is for older kids than I have. So let's just peek in that. It says, observe animals at work, rest, and play. So this is the student book, the student sort of um, notebook. So draw a map of your yard. 
Woodman's Observations. This one says, your tree. Remember how you picked out your tree? Take some time to observe your tree. It says some more down there in the notebook and page about that. So this one that I got is called Animals and Their Worlds. So it's going to go into all different animals and their habitats. And this is, part is in the woods. So that was a bear. Um, let me pick a tree. Here's animal tracks. Okay. What I noticed when I first looked through this real quick was that this, this um, Habitats, Hollows, and Homes journal was very much similar to the, um, the younger one. It's almost the same, just there's like less expected of them to write, but it's the same lessons you know, and almost the same things. So I felt like it looked a little too hard for my kids that I have in my home right now. But that's part of the student notebook. So that looks good. Oh, here, this is the animal height chart. So <laughs> you put um, a height chart up on your wall and when you come to a certain animal, you have, um, a cutout of that animal and you would research how tall or how long that animal gets and then you would put it that just shows what it is so it's literally a height chart and here's the animal things that you would cut out and put on okay so that's a cute little activity I think my little ones would like that one so that's cute um, this says Animals in the World's Diorama Kit. Okay, so as I was reading through the teacher's book, um, once in the unit, at the end of the unit, they make a diorama of the habitat and the animals that they um, took up that, that unit. So there's the African savanna, that's the background. More background. And some of the animals to make a diorama. I'm used to dioramas in shoe boxes, so these look a little large, but I think there was a different um, suggestion to oh, Arctic tundra animals. I think there was a different suggestion where you could just use it as storyboards and you know things like that, or set it up the way you want. Oh, that's beautiful. Those are those are beautiful. So that sounds fun. I know my little kinesthetic learner will really enjoy doing that after every unit. Something to look forward to after every unit. So that's cool. This part is Animals in Their Worlds Habitats Around the Globe Guide to the Seven Biomes. So this is the teacher's guide. All right. When you go on their website, um, you can look at all of this too, uh, probably as much as I'm showing you here. But it does walk you through everything. It talks about Charlotte Mason's methods, which again, as you know, I'm dipping my toes into that. Um, so that's why the living books. And this is how that, that works. You would put it in a binder and that's how that teacher's things are set up. So it does have a daily schedule, which I find in order to make things flow, I kind of need that. And I think that's um, because I'm, I've always been a traditional homeschooler. I think that's why that is. But this will help me. It actually says day one, read Habitats Burroughs Journal, pages 34 and 35, then One Small Square Woods, page 20 and 21. So you know, it's not that that I find to be helpful for me because I found over the years that I really need a guide. Even though I've homeschooled for many years, I feel like I get off I get off on things and go on rabbit trails, which you know just sometimes is okay, but sometimes is not not conducive. Um, but uh, yeah, here's butterfly migration and survival. So that's really cool. The rainforest. Um, there's a book called God Designed It First, which is the Bible portion of this, and that hasn't come yet. Uh, 
it has a lot of journaling, it looks like. No math or language arts in this. That would be something, another portion of their um, curriculum that you can order. So this is all just the teacher's, the teacher's guide that you would put in uh, a binder for yourself. So it's all hole punched. It's brightly colored and it looks like it's very well laid out. It gives you suggestions for art and music, for field trips, for videos and DVDs. Um, yeah. Oh, that said go on a camp out. Oh dear. Um, so yeah, so it has seven different biomes that you would study. So that sounds like fun. It does seem really heavy on going outside and so every every week or so and more almost every day these journaling pages for the kids take them outside so if you're not into that that might be a little too much but I know nature study is a big deal right now so you know and my little girl that just she's so busy she has to do something so I think that this is going to be a good fit and the reason I, I ordered it um, okay, so one more thing in this box is the Animal Alphabet Fun Pack for younger learners, for pre-K, because I have little, little ones along with my upcoming first grader that I need to keep busy. And I do have a preschool program that I am going to use, and I do have little, you know, books and things for them to do, but they really, really want to be a part of the learning, so I figured... If it's all about animals, why not? They'll pick up what they pick up, and then, so this is what this looks like. Little, what's that? Okay. Oh, so here's an F fish fly frog flamingo. That's cute. Um, so alphabet coloring. Anything else? It's a dot to dot. Just when you're doing bears, there's a bear dot to dot. And I believe that's that's it. It's a coloring page and dot to dots. So not not a huge amount of stuff there. So that, that was just a little disappointing to me. But along with this, there are some things that I think they're going to enjoy. So let's get into this box now. This is the box of resources, things that the books, the living books, okay, that I got in a separate box. So first of all came the One Small Square books and these are paperback. So here's The Woods, Arctic Tundra, Cactus Desert, Coral Reef, Swamp, Tropical Rainforest, and Africa, African Safari. Savannah, African Savannah. So inside these, if you haven't seen them, these are quite beautiful. Beautiful pictures and extra learning down the pages, but not a huge amount of reading, so good for youngers. And I have three, four, and five-year-old, almost six. So that's the first bunch. This next thing that came, I was a little concerned over when I looked at it because I love Answers in Genesis. This is from Answers in Genesis. This is part of the God's Design set, um, the world of animals. But when I opened it, it's for third to eighth, third to eighth grade. And so the first lessons we're supposed to be reading about vertebrates and invertebrates, and that is very textbooky, if you know what I mean. So I'm concerned about that, almost like I need to put this program aside because my kids aren't quite old enough for this. Um, I was a little concerned by the use of this, but you know, when you do a program like this, you take what you can and, you know, hope you just, the kids can glean what they can from it and then, you know, you can loop back and teach it again. So, you know, or you can skip portions of it if it's just too much and that's something I, I have to learn. I struggle with that 
But the pictures are beautiful. You know, I wouldn't expect any less from Answers in Genesis. And I really always have trusted Answers in Genesis. I know that it's teaching my kids the right things. So there's that. Next thing is the DK Encyclopedia of Animals, which is a big old thick book. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, these huge, real uh, pictures of the animals. There's dolphins. Maybe learning about different fins. Dolphins and porpoises, the differences between. Um, so I noticed in the teacher's thing that you would only have uh, maybe three pages or so on in this. So again, it's just a small portion. You, you have two or three pages and then you move on to a different book. So, you know, you take what you can. You don't read the whole thing. This here's about skeletons. So we were learning about invertebrates, uh, you know, in that first lesson. So there's that beautiful big old book. <laughs> this one came, now that's the end of this box. This one came later, once again. So I've got so far three different orders and one ebook that's not here yet. This is called At the Zoo. I, this has just some crafts in it. So, and the, it, it's At the Zoo, Explore the Animal World with Craft Fun. And okay, so it shows you how to do a craft, like to make a toucan there. So there's a brown bear. So you're just making little crafts, and that's really cute, I think. Oh, here's a porcupine. One week is about, there's a porcupine in one. <laughs> Talking about porcupines, so that's another one to make. Looks like a lot of paper plates. <laughs> here's the deer, those little clothespin legs. Okay, so that is what came in my set of um, printed, uh, winter promise things. So now I have um, some emails that have come now since then to download the eBooks and one more journal. There's also another book um, called Make Your Own Animal Book and it's just more notebooking pages where the kids answer certain questions about this, the animal that they talked about that week. Um, there's an art book so you can draw. If this is too young, then you have actual simple um, shapes and learning how to do shapes um, to, to draw the animal and that's there. And I think that's, that's about it. So um, overall, my first impressions are, it reminds me of my father's world, which I used with my youngest big kid. <laughs> um, I used that with her and it reminds me of that in that you pull from lots of different living books and then you have your worksheets and notebooking and things that go along with. So it reminds me of my father's world like that or maybe even um, sunlight but with less books maybe. I haven't ever used sunlight. I've only had friends that use sunlight so I can't really compare perfectly with that. But that's that's what it kind of reminds me of. My first impressions are it's going to take me a little bit of time to work through this and see if it's going to work because it seems it said pre-k to second grade and I'm thinking second grade might be the start of this because it seems like there's a lot of writing in the journals um, and then just a wee little bit of preschool type thing. So I'm going to have to go through it and see if I can. Again, my um, impression comes from a life of being traditional. <laughs> so you have to take that into account with my uh, opinion, my first opinion and uh, learning. It's a learning curve for me. It says it includes social studies and science and nature experiences. It did say, I felt like it said on the website geography, but so far I didn't really see any. I guess you learn what the biome is, what country that would be from. 
and so observe animals at work at rest and play it says on this one animals in the worlds and so yeah first impressions not sure it seems um good that i have a teacher's book that actually is quite laid out really well but this was a little worrisome in that they use this almost every day and it's very textbooky and i would have to really um be careful with my little ones with that i don't think they would listen to it so there we go winter promise animals in their worlds unboxing and first impressions i'll see you in the next video give me a like Please subscribe and I'll be doing more of these for you.